Welcome back guys. So the, today's video is going to be my small closet renovation. <laughs> Recently I moved rooms in the house, this room is a bit more bigger than the one I had before plus the one that I had before we changed it into the study because it already had bookshelves and everything just seemed scream study. So we've changed it into the study, I changed rooms and so the room I'm currently in I'm renovating, I'm doing it in sections just to make it a bit more budget friendly for myself and today we finished the closet. So the theme I'm going for in my room is very industrial, very cozy and a little bit of boho vibe and I think the closet really ties that in. It turned out way better than I expected and I'm really happy about how it turned out. So unfortunately I did delete all of the footage but I decided I will just draw a little diagram to show you how the closet looked before. So this is how it looked, this is the structure of the closet, as you can see the entryway was actually really tiny um it wasn't much for much ways for you to enter it was just this one little narrow way and as you entered there was shelves on either side both of the sh um one had two for shirts and like jeans and the other side had one for dresses and then there was stuff on the top so the first thing i did was i took off the shelves and you guys don't need to see that video because that took me forever to figure out how to take the shelves down. And once we did that, uh, my daddy, he opened up the entryway just to make it a little, a bit bigger. Actually, he made it a lot bigger. And from he did that, I was like, I'm in love with it already. So we made that about two times bigger. So we have more ways to enter into the closet. Then I drew a diagram of how I wanted my shelving to look. I actually wanted to use pipes. But because we live in the Bahamas, the price for those was really expensive. So we decided to go for the wood instead, staying in the wood, painting it, all of that good stuff. And I really like how they turned out. My favorite thing is that it's so much more open now. So this is the only footage I have left of us actually doing anything in the closet and it's only when we were putting in the wallpaper. This wallpaper took us about three, almost four hours to put up and it's because we were just taking our time um, trying to make it line up very perfect with the bricks. Plus this wasn't the paint stick and peel wallpaper. We actually had to put the glue on for the wall first and then stick this on. So next time, if I was to do wallpaper, I would definitely make sure that it's the stick and peel because it just, I think that saves more time. So this closet took us about three months to complete. My daddy was working on building the shelves on the weekends. Obviously every weekend he didn't get to work on the closet. Sometimes we didn't have certain supplies, like we had to wait for the wallpaper to come in or we didn't, we ran out of wood. Certain things just came up, you know how life goes. Plus he also had to work some weekends, so that slowed it down, but I don't mind because it made it a bit more budget friendly because I could, whilst I was waiting for him to finish these things, even though I had already purchased all the wallpapers and everything we needed for the closet, I could then put money that I had saved aside for like bedding or paint. So here you have it, here's the final reveal of the closet with all the clothes in, all the shelves in. I do have to get a few more of these shelves. I didn't have enough for, because I currently had these and I, so I didn't have enough for how many um, drawer space that I had. But so far I really, really like it. I like that I'm doing my room in sections, it makes it a bit more budget friendly and a bit more affordable.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. I will be having more videos come out soon about how I chair renovate the room. Um, also, if you have any comments, any questions, leave them in the description box and I will try to reply to you. Thank you.